Hey guys, I'm James on occasion, and today we've had an update. Um, the game's updated since um, since the last uh, episode I recorded, even though we have technically sort of missed an episode um, in the schedule. Uh, YouTube was being a bit silly, um, so I had to re-upload the video. It, it wasn't processing, so I'm sorry. We missed a day, but... I mean, who cares, it's fine. Um, so yeah, we have uh, Wi-Li Village now, Orion is here, and because of the patch, he's actually been buffed, so his stats are actually higher than they were at the end of the last episode. Uh, he's had just a few little, it's, it's nothing huge, it's like an extra like 20 weapon damage and stuff like that. It's, it's little, little tweaks, but he is better than he was, which is pretty funny. Um, and yeah, other than that, what else have generally just got a bunch of like upkeep reduction, which again, who cares? For this campaign like everyone's you know costing is basically nothing anyway so it doesn't really matter but uh yeah just um wood elves are now more powerful which i think is funny so what are we gonna get should we go for kadai oh that will help our forest health that will go some way to preventing the crown from mucking up everything so we'll see uh so next turn we should be able to get orion uh over to atholoran and since we have well a couple turns remaining so on the next turn, we can start the ritual, and that should spawn a bunch of armies that Orion can then jump onto. So hopefully that'll uh, that'll do the job. So where are we in terms of turns? Where did we leave off? I don't even know. Um, what the hell? What the hell? That was a, a dumb, stupid siege trick, wasn't it? That's what that was. We just gave that to our allies, and then it got it got um, given to Corn, which is very silly. It's fine. We'll wander back home with these two. There we go. Massive replenishment for them. So Ara, let's give you uh, I don't know Weaver the Winds. I, I don't know. Can think about it. It's just not that important anymore. I feel like. Uh, okay, let's get over to this side. I mean, there's a lot of nonsense going on over here. Do I want to set up another ambush? I think I probably do. I think I probably do. If if this is a twilight fail, they can fall back and then catch or I can ambush them instead. Let's go for that. And I think you stay where you are. So it, it, it's just going to be... Yeah, it's just stuck at 100 now. That's not going to change at all. So that's nice. That puts up global recruitment capacity, which I like. Very fun. Uh, and it cheers up Dark Elves for some reason. All right, so that's all lovely. Building upgrade available in Wailai Village. Um, shall we get some brine? Nah, let's go for the Waystone. You know, I do wonder, actually, what is our growth? Is it really only... 305. I guess that's quite a lot. We don't have that many outposts. All of them giving plus 5. We're still getting 140. So that's pretty good. That was pretty good. Um, but yeah, I might, um, I might peace out with these guys now. A face such as yours would make they definitely want it. Statue. They I definitely want it. And it means we would hang on to know. that, which is pretty funny. Yeah, we really have just decimated this guy, huh? Yeah, Geld has one settlement left. Do I even bother with piecing out? Do I even bother? And getting non-aggression packed until the end of time. He's never going to like me though, is he? Or is he? I don't know. I can always give him this. Empire's blessings, yes. Alright, so what's that trending towards? Towards 162. Yeah, alright. Still trending downwards. Let's give him the Temple of Elemental Winds. Here you go. I will. Uh, let's cheat him up a bit. Oh, there we go. Good. Good. We're still earning 33k, so I don't mind about piecing out with a few people. Because we just don't need that 100% that upkeep reduction anymore. Well, more than 100%, because we have certain things that are putting up the upkeep, so, you know, the net 100% upkeep reduction, should we say. Uh, he wants a peace treaty as well. Well, for him, I'm thinking, yeah, why not? You know, again, like, we might as well. Yeah, let's peace out with him for now. Don't have to worry about it. Although, did I just did I just see Kairos? Did no? It must have been our dragon. I just saw wings. Um, kid, sister Twilight. I guess I guess we just got spotted. We just got spotted. That's fine. I'll retreat. 
And we'll get him in the other ambush. Apparently they couldn't walk far enough to get into that other ambush. Unless that was spotted too, and it was close enough they could see both of us? I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, Wrecker's point being attacked again, yeah. Yeah. Of course. So annoying. So yeah, Sister of Twilight, ambush foiled. Seems crazy to think that, like, one of them are having their ambush foiled. Due to a recent event. What's the recent event? Okay, yeah, a lot going on. I know. What? What's the recent event? These are dark times. Uh, mutagenic energies. Someone's hit us with mutagenic energies, apparently. Okay. Just zinch nonsense again. When do we fight? Bit annoying. Only when necessary. Bit annoying. All right, let's try that again. Merge with shadow. Um, we should be able to get those guys pretty soon, right? I share the forest's thoughts. I imagine so. All right, now over to Durthu. You know, I think just over to Orion and we just start this party, right? Wood elf spell Sound good? Her. Get the party started? I don't know where his mate's gone. Oh, is he over here? Maybe. This is like... Oh, that's two different rogue armies. Oh, God. Nazag's right there. Oh, Old Dorf is probably going to fall. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, actually, there's only one stack, so maybe not. Maybe not, though. Um, there's Azag. Oh, my God. This is ridiculous. This is very silly. This is very silly indeed. Look at all this. Wolfric's here as well. Just this is absurd. Lady of the Azrang. Absolutely absurd. Can I offer assistance? You need me? God. Right, let's build that up as well. So we're just gonna try and fight off everything we can here, I think. Can I you know, I'm thinking a Lenderling here needs to actually step outside an ambush as well. Because no one is going to want to attack the settlement. Right, no. Oh my god, we're on minus ten every turn. Flipping heck. But yeah, so we're... We're, we're going to try and make Laurelon Forest, which is pretty tough anyway. We're going to try and make it a little bit more appealing. So some of these guys do start running towards us. The annoying thing about it is... How can I assist you? Proud daughter of Athel Lord. Yeah, maybe, maybe I have a Trollio stand outside of the area of influence. So if they attack from here, I can retreat one. I'm just worried that if we retreat, we might retreat in a stupid direction, because you can't choose where to retreat. And we might end up running off into a place which is more easy for her to get caught out. But I would like to get an ambush, wipe out an army, and then more stuff attack, retreat, and then a second ambush prox. You know, I don't want all three armies to ambush... Yeah, tell you what. I'll do that instead, alright? I'll put them way. both out here. So that way we have two lines. So these two will ambush the first wave of stuff. Might get attacked again, but the two armies will be enough for me to feel confident attacking the next army. And then we can start retreating them in order to have this ambush proc. Maybe that's what we do. And maybe that will get, you know, a handful of battles done. If they think that it's a juicy target, which they might or might not. But that is probably going to eat up a lot of our time for the remainder of this campaign. So I am eager to get uh, Orion over here. Uh, oh, that that's the border, is it? Well, okay. I guess you're doing that first. And uh, this is when I find out that I don't have the uh, world route on cooldown, isn't it? And boop. That is the wrong button. I didn't mean to click that button. I meant to click the other button. And here we are. Boom. Alright, so Ryan's teleported back home. Love to see it. Okay, and then we'll have one more turn to attack whatever. Whatever spawns. Which hopefully will work out well for us. Uh, do I wine here? Get some wine. And let's finally get some treatment. Lovely. Uh, do we have the building for... Listen to the sounds. 
We've got the building for stags now. Should I get someone to recruit some stags so we can give them to Orion? Swap out all the wild riders without shields for stags. I mean, they're such high rank. I don't really want to get rid of them. I like this army. I was going to have a bunch of stag knights, but I think um, Can I offer assistance? that army has managed it, you know. It's, it's, it's fought the gauntlet. I'm pretty happy with how it's done. So that's, that's fine as far as I'm concerned. All right, moving on. If I had my way, the wild... Greece's gold tooth wants peace. I mean, we could do that too, couldn't we? I can't see if that's going up or down. I think it's pretty stagnant at the moment. If we do more battles, it will go up. So I'm going to say no. Just because the battles against Greece's don't take long at all. Because it's just ambush after ambush after ambush after ambush. And yeah, it's all war dancers. So it's, it's a bit of a walk in the park. The Bone Rattlers succeed in their work, which I'm pretty sure. Why would it take me to the Bone Rattlers? Oh, it wasn't Oldorf. Okay, they did manage to fight them off, though my god, this By is insane. Comet. By the Comet, indeed. Aldebrand Ludenhoff, you aren't at war with any of this stuff, which is amazing for you, unless you've been corrupted. Right, none of them seem to be caring about Atholoran. The player bias doesn't seem to be taking much of an effect at the moment, unless they're heading down here. That's entirely possible. They've decided to run all the way down here. Uh, but it's time, guys. It's Ritual of Rebirth time. Let's do it. Magical Forest requires five, 500 health. Well, we have it. We have it. The Ritual of Rebirth has been successfully initiated in Atholoran. Once completed, the Great Forest shall be brought back to its legendary splendor and will revitalize the world roots beneath. But take heed. The use uh, of ritual magic in the area has attracted the attention of beastmen who gather nearby to mobilize against the Great Oak. Defended at all costs. Uh, and so it's shown up all along Bretonia. So Orion can't reach that. Or can he? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Look how... Oh, he can reach that. I love that Orion has the most absurd campaign movement range. I really, I thought there would be battles in Atholoran. You know, and I just have to navigate at the Lauren. The fact that I have to go all the way over to here, and that's fine too, is um, bloody incredible. Christ. Okay, well, let's get them. They have a they have a Jabba Slythe, a Saigor, and uh, not much else. Um, let's let's kill them. And I really thought we were gonna lose the crown. I really did. I did not like those odds. Um, let's see. Let's line you up. Okay, we want you lot all in pretty nice spot. Um, yeah, I think we can just sort of charge from uh, each direction, and that will be that. I think there's anything else to consider, really. Just uh, put everything on melee mode. Well, everything on melee mode. And um, that's that. Let's go. Alright then. Sisters of Thorn. Sisters of Thorn. Uh, let's just keep going with these. Oh, everything's broken already. Um, any of that worthwhile? No, not really. Um, just the Jabba Slife left. Yeah, Hawk Riders should be able to handle that. God, I love a Jabba Slife. They're so cool. Rarrr. Very cool units. Uh, so yeah, that was uh, absurd. That was absurd. I mean, wasn't it always going to be? Okay. Well, let's uh, replenish our eight lads. Good. Yeah, and you, you jog on, mate. We could have wiped them out completely, but, uh, you know, they're done. Uh, although... I'm not just scave another nonsense showing up at the moment. A little worried that these guys are going to kill a bunch of things, but it seems only the... 
Yeah, only only the the only people that that these guys are at war with is us. So I think we're fine. Uh, okay, you wake up a tree. Nice. Yes. You know, I'm proud of you. Okay, I'm, I'm proud of you. I have Dirthu. Hang out by the Oak of Ages. All right, he's going to protect the tree. And we have elves ambushing at every entrance. Like, quite big elves, too. Uh, in fact, I'm going to swap with these. I'm going to swap these. I want to make sure that the Grail Knights are actually defending over in Bretonia. Uh, so this takes how many turns? Two turns and two turns. All right, well, we can deal with most of them. A lot of great stags were earned by people. Nice to see. I think it's all Mentor doing its job. Uh, which is annoying, because like, I don't want to have to level up everybody and their mums. But here we are. Um, swift fingers for stealing magic items. We can lower upkeep. That's always very important. This one, extra campaign movement range. I like that. Let's go lightning strike. I never go with the blue line of anything, but it's... Um, I mean, I say that. I rarely go deep into it. I can't remember the last time I got, like, the, the yes. final quest. Yeah, quest. What am I talking about? The final skill point in the blue line. It's going to be saying line. I always think quest line. But I'm not talking about quest lines. There's all, there's many kinds of lines. You know, like uh, train lines. And that's it. Those are both the, those are both kinds of lines I've mentioned. So let's get... Um, we could have a do more damage, I suppose. Uh, charmed attacks lowers enemy melee attack, which is kind of cool. Forest gifts are going to let her do her abilities more often. We never get a chance to use her abilities. So that seems a bit pointless. Or her spells. I mean, I, yeah, I have no idea. Fertile ground is going to make building easier. Forest cooling. I guess that's nice. Just faction-wide. Recruit rank way up. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Excuse me. Apparently, uh, all this Athalorin. Uh, oh, that's interesting. So, uh, we're in Ride the World Roots, because we just won a battle. Normally, you don't win battles when you're in World Roots stance, right? So it just gave us extra movement for having won a battle. But we're still stuck in World Roots stance, which is obviously a little bit strange. But yeah, let's start heading that way then. It would be great if it was like a bigger amount and we could just chain these together. That would be diabolical, frankly. Um, okay. I think everyone's happy, right? Probably. Uh, I'm not even looking who this is. Oh, it's you, Lord. Um. I say with such disdain. Ugh. <laughs> my horns. I have to babysit them. They all demand my attention. Stupid horns. Oh my god, yeah, I really... I, every time I get Mentor, I regret it. But it's obviously, like, a great thing to have, to be able to, you know, share so much experience around the place. But, um... God, it's annoying. Alright, I'm gonna move you over here. Then we're gonna get rid of uh, Alariel. And then I'm gonna see if they fancy a peace agreement. Peric victory. Seriously. Um, look, I'm busy... Alariel, I don't really want to be fighting this. You know? You with your eagles. God, what kind of crazy person brings eagles to a fight? Madness. Uh, let's just auto resolve it. That's good enough. Like, I think we'll be fine. And do I occupy or clear it? Ooh, that's a tough one. If they don't want to peace out, then I'm cornered. Going to be spooky. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to skip that one. Spirit game. Uh, defeated Alariel. Extra growth chance of increasing winds of magic and control. Yeah, okay. And seasoned campaigner. Nice. Extra movement range. And all the rest of it. Alright, how about now, huh? Oh, yeah, we can convince them. We just need to give them 48 grand. Perfect. Alright, peace out with Alariel. Good. Good. Honestly, like, that's, that's great news. Seeking unseen paths. Now let's get... Oh, this is nice. Yeah, extra recruit rank for cavalry units. Faction-wide is actually quite useful. Uh, let's get you better at fighting. And make you quicker. Lovely. 
All right, that'll do nicely. So I'm glad I peaced out with them. I didn't want to be at war with all the elves. Uh, Violent Delight sounds great. Oh god, there's so many level ups. So many These level ups. Dark times. They really are. The dark leveling up times. God, I'm playing Rogue Trader or something. You called. Okay, let's get you, um, I don't know, Amber Spear, sure. Alright, is that everybody? Everyone seems happy over here, good. Uh, now Orion, yeah, you're chilling over here. Uh, down here, we've sort of stopped all the wars. There's no wars down here anymore. So let's just make sure no one can see us. And, um, yeah, continue to present ourselves as a juicy target that no one dare touch. Yeah, we could even just teleport them away, and no one would want to come near anyway. I'm not going near there. Every time I go near there, I get ambushed. And everybody dies. I don't want to go near there. Alright. Uh, oh yeah, tier 5. Lovely. Let's just upgrade everything, I suppose. Nice. And yeah, let's get some eggs. And wow, I don't have any of the... <laughs> any of the, like, income buildings. Interesting. Anyway, that's fine. Um, yeah, I don't care about the building upgrades there. Let's crack on. And Greasus once again got ambushed. Because of course he did. Oh, Greasus. It's just, he's just fertilizer. That's all he is. Uh, he also wants a peace treaty. Yeah, sure. Yeah, he's going to peace out with most of the factions. Vaults of Winter. Aranok lies under the eternal summer sun, scarcely knowing night. The guests to this mystical and radiant part of the forest have been feasting endlessly, fattening themselves for the coming sacrifice. Many whisper that this time is now, yet the guests could yet continue to feast themselves into a greater state of readiness. What do you think, my lord? Income from buildings or growth? I mean, neither matter. So just continue gorging. Have fun, guys. You've earned it. The fatter they become, the greater the eventual sacrifice. Have patience and it shall be rewarded in the end. Yeah, we won a battle indeed. Sure did. Uh, there's an invasion imminent. Dun dun dun. Oh, there's some over there too. Oh, I didn't even realise. Can Tralan get over there? I don't think so. Um... 100% ambush chance, sounds quite good. And I will take it. And... Let's see. Let's do that battle. I might be able to reach that one, might not. There's another ambush. This one I think I will just skip. We don't need to fight all of them. Yeah, because they're all very much the same. And the extra bonus movement doesn't actually get us... Um, where we need to be. So yeah, that forest invasion is imminent, and so is this one. And oh, oh, and so is the one that we just cleared out. Yeah, fine. Um, you have my spear. I mean, that's probably going to run off this way, right? I can probably chase it down. Maybe we should just attack him again. Walls anvil. Oh, more wine, please. Lovely. That's still going. That's still going. Do you want another lord? God, our income is going down so quickly from piecing out. Just the extra, like, few hundred here and there on all of our armies. It's pretty funny. Uh, so, yeah, we'll let that invasion show up. Uh, that guy has no... Yeah, no prospects. Uh, this army should be able to deal with beastmen pretty easily. Yeah, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. So yeah, plenty of lords have a mood game. Plenty of them. Um, it's unassigned skill points. I don't really care. Um, and yeah, I'd, I'd leave space for that. The Temple of Kernos. I think that's it, right? Let's go check up on Laurelorn. I mean, there's a hell of a lot going on over here. Still. Makes me wonder... I mean, because this is obviously insane. The amount of stuff coming down here. And over here. 
Oh, and Bella calls in. Leonka is dealing with this stuff, though. And Sterland is over here in Fort Burgless. What? What? <laughs> okay. Sterland is still going, apparently. But man, the world is in ruin. It really is. It is an absolute ruin. Um, I am tempted, you know. I am tempted to go deal with these chumps. Go get Middenheim. I don't like this attrition. I must say. Not, not enjoying the attrition, but I can stand here. In that guy's way. And not suffer any attrition. And then I'll be able to reach Middenheim on the next turn. Um, I can also head over here. Oh no, I won't be able to besiege it, will I? Or will I? Do you have siege attacker? Oh, you're a... No, you're a stag. You don't have the dragon yet. Elendilin does have the dragon, though, so you know what? They can run over here. And set up an ambush. Anything is possible. And to do this, I guess, can... Um, hold the fort over here? As it were? Yeah, see if I can get Black Pit in Middenheim. It does seem like these guys are doing quite well in taking a bunch of territory from Dr. Festus, which is nice. Hubus is over here. Being a little scary. Alright, that's all good. Yeah, that's the only part of the campaign I kind of care about, is just trying to keep this place somewhat, you know, not like this. I kind of want this to be somewhat tame while I'm dealing with the oak. Uh, only seven more turns, though. Like, we are getting through this pretty quickly. Oh, and yeah, Catra's just ambushing over there. Still suffering attrition because of sieges. You know, whatevers. Oh, and okay. Perfect. Thanks. That was really important. Your words and heart are hollow. Hello, Rakath. No peace with you. I, I, I don't see the point. We're never going to see him, so I'd rather he just keep our upkeep down. Uh, we did indeed get an ambush, uh, and it's saying that this is going to be a challenge. Somehow? Don't really know why? Bit weird, because we are going to fight some beastmen in a minute as well. So I guess we have to fight this. Okay. It's a lot of boys. Um, so, we have a spell weaver who's on the ground. She's going to watch <laughs> like a creep. Uh, and everyone else can just um, hang out, I guess. Everyone just hang out. You know, everyone else chill. And we're going to get our eagles. Uh, who don't want to attack? I mean, ideally, killing their lord and stuff. But I think going for some of these units with our eagles might be better. Like, go for the mortis engine, perhaps. Try and shut that down. These mortis engines are scary. Um. Your command. All right, that works for me. Yeah, let's go. Um, let's go shut them down properly. He's on his way, of course, but that's all right. That's all right. Yeah, let's try and finish him, shall we? If we do, that'll work wonders for... Um... Ooh, you know what? Let's go nuts, shall we? Let's go nuts. Let's just be real stupid. Let's go real stupid with it. Alright, good luck. We're gonna kill him. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna kill him. Come on, don't disappear yet. Buff you guys. There's a black coach in there. Okay, so did we kill him or did he run? I'm not sure. 
But let's get over here with the rest of you guys. Oh, they're running away already. Oh, the Mortis Engine survived? I thought we had the Mortis Engine. Oh yeah, no wonder then. I really thought we had the Mortis Engine. Okay, good. You guys still have pretty good numbers. Just thing, I know that we're going to be fine if we have... Oh yeah, no, let's start to get shut down now. But yeah, as long as we've got high uh, model counts, we're fine. Because I'll be replenished up to that point. So taking some damage is okay. Yeah, let's hit them again. And yeah, that big stuff is all taken care of. These hawks, though, have had a very bad day. Still eight of them. There we go. And yeah, these guys are actually crumbling, which is pretty fun. Yeah, look, they actually crumbled, which is perfect, because it means they didn't escape. They might still rise back from the dead, because that's undead for you, but still. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Didn't lose too many. I mean, there's quite a lot, you know, compared to our numbers, really, but... We took out all the troublesome stuff. Now let's see what happens with the Beastmen at the end of this turn. I don't know if they spawn in and they just stood there, or they spawn in and they charge, or like what, I'm really not sure. And, ah, we did get them. We did get them. Perfect. Okay, so this is nice. Uh, and also a bit scary, because this is quite a tough army with an absurd number of mammoths in it. But um, we did get the ambush. Like I was hoping. Do I just skip ahead with this one? Yeah, this one we skip, I think. I'll skip that one. Just because it's, you know... We've got a lot of armies up there, and it's it's not really the thing that we're working on fully. Yeah, you know, we're, we're trying to focus on Athelore and stuff right now. Uh, okay, so there's one of the armies. Though, Vlad von Kostein is also nearby. Which means we may actually need to have a couple of armies over here. Ambushing. So we'll see how that goes. Wow, okay, got a, just a bunch of new things. The invasion begins! No, invasion, no! Uh, so that's fine. I'm not that fussed about that. Uh, over here, we can reach Magok. So that's fine. And, um... Yeah, that's, that's it, over here. I assume more stuff will spawn in soon. We're only on turn six. Uh, what, he's actually trying to run. You're, tr you're trying to invade me, you lunatic. You're supposed to be coming for me. Alright, home amongst the bows. Look, we can go even faster now. We have even better campaign room range. Uh, let's get you... Wow, you really have basically everything? Nice. Oh god, what do we get for you? I never know what to get with her. Just none of this, none of this matters. Um... Wait, mean, replenish troops. What's our replenishment going to be on? No, stop that. It's currently saying 22%. That is crazy high replenishment, say, that he's losing out on 30%. Um, so there is a cap of, I think, 30%. I, think, I it might be higher, actually. But there is there is a cap to how much you can replenish in a single turn. And to how high it can be. Um, but just like with upkeep... It seems that the positives and negatives get added together, and then that is the amount. So it's not like it's giving us the, like, you know, 30% replenishment. You know, we're, like, way higher than 30, but it's only giving us that 30, and then it's removing 30 from that final number, so we're on nothing. It's, like, it's jostling for position, and it means we are actually, like, overcompensating for the, for the you know, we're compensating for the, the loss. And that works, which is good. That's how it should work. But you can never be entirely sure. Sometimes games have silly maths. You know, it depends where they... You know, it depends what the formulas are. It depends where they, like, take the variables. You know? To decide these things. But no, Total War does it quite cleverly. We really don't need to fight this, do we? We really don't. Okay, uh... Oh, I don't know. Do you want to just run home? Or just jog home? Let's just jog you back this way. Because you need to get back home. I'm amazed we managed to hang on to the crown for this long. Like, honestly, that is, that is like the one thing I'm really pleased with with this campaign. 
Um, given the like madness that is the campaign, having a really fun MacGuffin to kind of explain it. It's like, oh, he's got the mad crown. He's got the crown. Of course, he's going a bit mad. Of course, this campaign is silly. Um, but we've managed to hang on to it, you know? It sort of explains a lot of our behavior of just like declaring war on everybody and being just generally a big old, uh, big old wang. Uh, more troop replenishment, please. 25%. Very nice. Oh, you leveled up again. My bad. Sorry. Terrible and beautiful. Let's give you Blight of Terror so you can lower enemy leadership. Wonderful. I wonder if I'll have a chance to use it. How can I assist you? Um, right. You you can level up, I suppose. I mean, can you all just be leveled up now? Anything is possible. Okay, it seems everyone can be. Good. Anything is possible. No, nope, there are more level ups. Come on. Come on. Stop. All right, deadly onslaught. Let's go. Uh, also, I just realised you need to go back into ambush stance so these guys can get got. And to do this was going to um, just on zero. He was going to do that battle, wasn't he? Wasn't she? Um, though I don't really see the need at this point. So let's just go and um, set up another little ambush spot. Good. Right now, I want to get over to Nordland to do Proud daughter, something. To do something. Uh, so you Lady can take Black Pit, though you might have to chase this guy down. He doesn't have much, though. I'm actually happy for him to just, like, smack into Laurelorn and get wrecked. I mean, to do this is there, too. So let's take Black Pit. This is mine now. Uh. Ooh. I mean, I would love just to give it back to the Empire, but it can only be a tier one if we give it back, you know? We can't raise it, because then it's nothing. If we sack it, then it's not ours to give to anyone. If we occupy it, it's tier one. It's just, we're the worst allies. We really are the worst allies. But I think we can grab it. Let's grab it. Let's grab it. All right, and I'm gonna go for, um... See, let's see. I haven't looked at these in a while. I mean, lowering corruption is probably a good call. That's sort of like global recruitment. And that's going to be big replenishment rate. Which I feel like our replenishment rate is probably fine enough as it is. Uh, let's make you better at ambushing. These are dark times. Yeah, let's, um, let's go with the corruption one. Let's go with the corruption one. This is so crazy. There's just so many enemies running around. Although, Carl yeah. seems to have... Wow, that is a stonkingly good army. Wow. Oh my god, just orcs everywhere. Undead everywhere. Just This place is a mess. It really is. Absolute mess. Unbelievable. Okay, so, uh, Trollio. I do have the option to go to, like, Salsenman, Dieterhafen. You know, take that stuff out again. Um, I could even give it to these guys, you know. Because no one's really at war with them. So they'd be able to hang on to it longer. And maybe get some of it beyond tier one. You know, there is that. Uh, that'll do. These are dark times. And uh, tempered rigor. Violent delight, sure. So you are a little injured, though. I am worried there's going to be a lot more stuff here, because this may... Yeah, that's escape and settlement. Orders. Those escape and settlements. All right, tell you what. Your orders are acceptable. World routes. Starting out. Let's go back here. And Making you can be way. an ambush stance over here. How can I assist you? Because it's going to take him a couple of turns to get over here anyway. The council is, is disappointed. So yeah, that works. God, I can't believe how the decline of this place, though. We had it on a hundred. <laughs> we had it on a hundred. Madness. Okay, let's get you... Have a spear. Sure, why the hell not? God, can everyone just be leveled up now? Apparently not. Speed of the Hunter. Perfect. And Forest Fury. Good. Is that everybody? That's everybody. More wine. More wine to celebrate. And... No, I don't care about you. Let's end the turn. If I had my way... The wild hunt would trample you into the earth. Peace treaty. No. 
They're too close to Athalorum for me to want to be at peace with them. Because I am actually protective over Athalorum. And we did indeed ambush Da. A lot. We ambushed him real good. So there goes that invasion. A new regional plower. Plower. <laughs> Big farmers, Clan Pestilence. Clan Pestilence are the new regional power. So I guess they just own all of Lustria now. The fact that the new regional power is like, this is your nemesis. This is going to be a real problem. That Like, they're on a continent we haven't visited. Completely irrelevant. Following a string of impressive victories, Clan Pestilence have become a major power. All right. Sure, mate. Sure. Wild hunt begins. Hell yeah. It's about time. Orion, king in the woods and master of the wild hunters, reborn anew. On the eve of the vernal equinox, the elite wild riders select a candidate to bear the mantle of the immortal elven king for the year ahead. And uh, it was Jimmy this time. Congratulations, Jimmy. <laughs> Congratulations to Jimmy. Uh, Icky Claw is milling about here. I'm amazed you guys aren't pushing to Castle Carcassonne yet. It's taking a long, long time. Um, so I can... I can reach him, but I don't think he's going to want to fight. But he might? It's a weird one, because he's, he's spawned as, like, leftovers, not as, like, an army. Okay, so even as leftovers, he wants to flee. That's fine. And that's as close as I can get, sadly. Oh, well, next turn we can do a battle. I hope. You know, I've been, like, real proud of myself. Being like, oh, we've got the crown! We could still lose it. We could absolutely still lose it before the end. Um, let's get... Reload time reduction. That's actually very useful. And also, lovely. Because, yeah, reload, reduction, reload time reduction of all of them is, is obviously quite handy. Isn't it? Sure is. And should we just get you some stags? Because you can. Nah, let's, let's just put you in ambush stance. Uh, Vlad is over here. Suffering attrition. When the territory controlled by the living. You're... You're not, though. <laughs> They're zombie pirates. You're in zombie pirate world. You silly goose. Alright, Dirthu. What have you got for me? Speed of the Hunter. I don't think Elven units need help. And nothing you have can reload. Uh, Piercing Thorns. Yeah, let's make your Dryads better. Okay, good. Good. Um, I guess that's that. Yeah, okay. I think that's it for the turn. Uh, except potentially, I'll do some shenanigans up here. Uh, you still don't have a dragon, so you can't smash this down. Does up walls. Lady of the Azray. Oh, this guy's on the way. Alright, let's try and get the right bush set up. Petrolio is fine over here. Oh, it looks like Gottree here is milling around. Um, can't reach any of these guys. Not your shadow. Okay, they might go for Black Pit. They might go I for go Black then. Pit. So if they do, let's make them regret it. Alright, if stuff comes from below, that's fine. Uh, these guys Such funneling in this way, I want to try and catch out. Because no, catching... I mean, none of these armies are particularly you scary. We could probably, like, smash through most of those with this army. Although, it is quite a delicate army, actually. It is quite a delicate one. It is quite delicate. But anyway, this is pretty well covered. Um, going anywhere near Laurelorn Forest results in being ambushed and slaughtered. Which is pretty good. You know, that's, that's what we want. And um, yeah, Athalorin is safe as can be. Uh, would love to purge these mountains and things at some point. I really would. But we'll see. We'll see how things go. Um, it'll probably be just this will count down to zero. We'll do the final battle and call it a day. But, you know, we're consolidating. We haven't given this area up. We've consolidated around Athalorin. We're going to do that quest. Everything will start taking attrition all around, and we'll just start, um, 
you know, these enemies can start pushing out and destroying stuff. Um, in the in the follow up, you know, in the in the sequel, which is set to come out in 2030. You know, it's penciled in. It's penciled in. It depends on funding. Anyway, guys, uh, this is where we're going to end it. So if you are enjoying this, then please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Let them face the rage of the forest!